the active cycle of breathing technique is a type of airway clearance therapy that helps a patient mobilize secretions by alternating cycles of deep breathing with relaxed breathing and forced expiration maneuvers. The ultimate goal of this technique is to remove secretions and improve the patient's pulmonary function and make breathing easier. This type of therapy has three phases, breathing control, thoracic expansion, and forced expiratory technique. The breathing control phase is performed by having the patient take normal diaphragmatic breaths for 5 to 10 seconds while relaxing the shoulders and upper chest. This phase is intended to help prevent bronchoconstriction. The thoracic expansion phase involves having the patient take in deep inhalations with relaxed expirations. This phase is designed to provide the tidal volume that is needed for the final phase, which is the forced expiratory technique. In this phase, you will have the patient perform one to two forced exhalations without closure of the glottis, followed by diaphragmatic breathing, which is the breathing control phase. You may have heard this referred to as a huff cough or huff exhalation because at this point, the patient will literally be making huffing sounds. These forced expirations help move secretions into the central airways so that they can be removed by coughing or suctioning. According to the Egan's Fundamentals textbook, the active cycle of breathing technique sequence should occur as follows. There should be relaxation and breathing control, followed by three or four thoracic expansion exercises. Then another phase of relaxation and breathing control with again, three or four more thoracic expansion exercises. Then one more time, repeat the phase of relaxation and breathing control but this time it's followed by one or two forced expiratory techniques. If this technique works properly, the patient should now be able to cough up secretions for removal. Otherwise, you can repeat the sequence if necessary. If you or your patient has been diagnosed with a respiratory condition or are experiencing symptoms, as always, please speak with your doctor for medical advice and treatment. Just a reminder, this video is for educational and informational purposes only. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, be sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel. Also, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other resources that I think you will enjoy. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. And if you want to support the channel, be sure to drop a like on this video and you might as well go ahead and click the subscribe button while you're down there. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. That's it for this one. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.